so fast. He's upset. He's upset. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Arya and today we're gonna be watching To Your Eternity episode 13. Last time was a big tearjerker. It's probably the most I've been emotional watching an anime this season. Ugh, because I just did not expect it at all. I mean, until the very last moment, I was hoping that they were gonna survive. Like, I was for sure Fushi was going to save them. And they're gonna get married because they just confessed right so i was like huh anyways this anime just gives us heartbreak after heartbreaks one thing though that i noticed that a lot of people were talking about in the comments was that fushi and march were seen in the same dimension or same realm in the spirit world i don't know what you'd call it fushi has moved on forward as Gugu and was given Boozman's and Piran's blessing to travel the world and move on with his life. So I am so excited to see what happens now. Who is he going to meet? I don't know. Right now, I'm in defense mode. I'm expecting already that whoever Fushi is going to meet, he's going to develop a close relation with and eventually die a horrible death. That's, that's what's been happening so far. I'm just waiting for like for Fushi to experience a full life, you know, a full human life from beginning to end. And I'm just wondering if that's ever gonna happen. I am a little worried of how Fushi is internalizing and processing everything that's happened. As a lot of you guys have mentioned in the comments, this is Fushi's first emotional death because before he didn't even realize what death was until he met Gugu. Learning a more about emotions, learning more about his abilities and about human relationships, this is his first kind of realized death. As some of you guys already realized that there was no episode last week, I don't know, there was a delay, I'm not sure what happened, but so this week will be episode 13. It was released yesterday and now I'm watching today. Okay guys, get oh let me get my my box of snacks yeah there's just bread and peanut butter in there i may have to change up my snacks maybe to you know spice things up a bit do you have any any recommendation of like weird snacks that i can try <laughs> that'd be fun i think for anything at all that you know for sure tastes good but it's kind of weird let me know then i'll try it i'll try it all right so without further ado Get comfortable, get ready, get excited, and let's get to the video. I wonder if he's feeling Gugu's emotions now that he can transform into him now. Like his existential crisis, self-doubt, some self-consciousness, regrets, you know. Anata! Mm. Something invisible. Mm. Aspiring to go higher. This is, I think that's the first time he's asked those questions. Like, he never questioned his abilities before, he never questioned how he's so different from others. Like, he can transform because of Gugu now he's asking those things now and he's like very conflicted like look at his face he looks very conflicted <gasps> oh! <laughs> i love how she yeah i love i love how he thought of instinctively like subconsciously he thought of marge because that's his mom <laughs> that's a good question Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is- He's upset. He's upset. This is- I've never seen this side of Fushi before. Hmm. I don't know if that was the right question to ask. I don't think that was- Oh, Fushi! I don't think that was the right way of thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, you're still you even though you look like a-
He's asking some really good questions. Like, yeah, I, actually, these are questions that I haven't thought of before. Like, why isn't he doing anything? They have a lifespan too. I just, I just assumed they were immortal because they look like high beings, god, otherworldly, benign. Oh, he's so upset. He's so torn of Gugu's death. He's grieving. Oh, I didn't expect them to meet so soon. Yay! Don't <laughs> face! <laughs> Piran. <laughs> And this is like their first encounter. <laughs> it's so chaotic. Oh wow. Fushi is so expressive. Like I'm regarding Fushi now as a human. As someone who is as complex as you and me. This is nice. This is different. <laughs> You know that he's not, he's not mad at Piran. He's upset because it, he knows that if she keeps traveling with him, there's a high chance that she will die the way that others have died. You know. He's always on the edge now. He's always thinking about it now because he's so afraid of it happening again. <laughs> I love how Piran gives Fushi trouble. <laughs> That makes things a lot more reassuring because he has like this personal radar, I guess. So he knows when they're coming closer. Hmm. Bjorn. Oh, PRN is badass. March. It's because March is um was taken by the knockers, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes, she was! That reminds me of uh, that One Piece quote. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Remember when they first traveling together and Fushi still didn't know how to speak and Piran was telling, was teaching him how to say, like, yummy, like, umai. And then they were just shouting it. And he just kept shouting that. That was, look how far they've gone. Look how far they've gone. Mm. No. Thanks. We're gonna get stronger. Training montage, here we go. What? What is going on? This is so fast. Oh my gosh. Like five seconds ago, we were with PRN and now we're prisoners and we were just imprinted on like we're cattle. Like Fushi was cattle. What's happening? This is what? This is so fast. Ooh, I like how the first thing he thought of was PRN. Oh no! What? Oh my god, what? Oh, 
The wolf snows his handies from time to time. Oh my gosh! That's a terrible fall. Mm, oh my gosh, I hope she didn't get branded. Oh, there. Yeah! Oh! I love, like, competition arcs like this. Oh, so exciting. I just hope that Piran is okay. I think she, she will be. She's strong. She's strong. Oh, now I'm like, am I thinking too hopefully? Am I thinking too optimistically? <laughs> I guess this is one way of training, right? This is a way to improve his fighting skills, right? Oh, man. Okay, wow. So, lots of really good information about Fushi in this episode. He's questioning a lot of things like, who am I? What can I do? How can I protect the people I love? Being Gugu, being able to transform into Gugu has helped him really develop conscious of himself. He's realizing the differences in him that is not usually typical of what it is to be what other humans have or, or are. So that's a good thing that he's questioning that so we can follow him and his thought process into figuring out his different abilities. But thankfully, Piran is there to help him in his journey and Piran is so awesome. I love how she's so like doesn't care anymore. <laughs> I think she's of that age where she can just get away with anything and it's fine. <laughs> I'm really happy to see Fushi doing some internal work, you know, as we all should do some internal work. <laughs> I cannot wrap my head around the thought of losing something I don't know. It must be so frustrating. I, I like I'm imagining that it can feel frustrating and and sad. I don't know. There's different visuals that triggers him, like the fruit, the word parent. So hopefully, oh my gosh, hopefully he can he can get March back because now that he's like a better developed human being, I wonder how he would feel transforming into March, appreciating all the care that she's given to him. So March is I love March. I wonder which form Fushi will take to battle to to compete in the competition. Most likely Gugu, right? right right for obvious reasons <laughs> okay lots of i think this was a good episode i'm glad that they showed how fushi is like processing piran was there to help him through it so that he didn't have to go through it alone i think that was really important i i hope that he develops some fighting skills and a way to defeat the knockers so excited for how things progress in the next week episode so i'll see you then in the meantime stay safe Stay healthy and always take care.